most important the most important part of PT is what they do with Squirtle. So let's see what he can get. Although Snake is not a very good matchup for PT, but if PT doesn't let him play the game, then you know you don't have to worry about grenades if they're not you know, able to be thrown. Like right now, you see a very commanding neutral from very commanding neutral and disadvantage. The ledge guard's not going too crazy though. Not letting him come back with Cipher, pushing him back further. Amazing up B with Ivysaur. Wow, that was. I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. That was very clean gameplay from PT. Only 10% on the board. Playing hyper aggressive, knowing that Snake needs that time to set up those good buttons. Misses the uppy barely, and the up air also does not land. Parries the F tilt. Rolls out. Forward air. Not quite. The down air hits, and he gets the tech. He got the. He knew the tech was coming. He knew he wasn't rolling in any direction. This PT is. Oh my lord, laddering too? He's holding the bomb. Nair dodges the bomb. Snake really doesn't have a moment to breathe in this matchup. Oh my gosh. Down tilts. His spacing's immaculate. We have Ivysaur again. Dodges the up B. Snake really has to adjust to this because he's not getting any room to play to play his game. Up B takes it. That was a very fast match. That was very convincing for Quid. His PT was all over Snake. Snake didn't even have room to press any buttons. He said, oh, you want to set up grenades, bro? How about you take this whole 30% combo instead? My God. Sticking to Snake, though. You know, maybe so, maybe what the, the difference is just making those adjustments, you know, in the middle of the game. Not letting him get in as quickly on you while you try to set up your, your game mode, the mini game of... Can you dodge the explosion? Left sec hits. Down throw. Not quite. He's been missing those reads on the techs. Oh my. Very aggressive Squirtle. He's just beating up Snake. Snake's not really getting time to do what he wants. He's trying to drop the grenades, but he doesn't have the time to do so. And he's not getting the trades he really looks for being a heavy character. Although the down air connecting, that was very good for Snake. Is this bomb going to save him? Not quite, but he still got scared of it. Up air kills. That's Ivysaur. Back to Squirtle at 50%. You're playing a really light character. Must have a lot of confidence. I mean, he did display some great feats with the Squirtle before in last game. Great up air. Back to Ivysaur. The back airs. Oh, wow. The grounded up B. Not quite killing, though. Up air doesn't quite kill. He's got the DI to save him. Oh. Up B didn't hit. Tried to hit him through the stage. Grab miss. Back throw hits, though. Ooh, the down air didn't quite hit. Back to Charizard. He's playing it. He, all right, he brought out the heavy. Back air kills. Alive at 116. Living on a prayer. Quid is just absolutely throwing hands with Snake. Not giving him any room to breathe or do anything. Snake's fighting for his life. There's the Nikita. Not going to take it, though. Up till Will. He read the neutral get up off the Nikita explosion. There's the Cypher. Not quite. Down tilt. F tilt stops the Swirtle in his tracks. What are we going to see? He drops the bomb on Snake. Snake's he really... He's using his own tools against him. Snake's not getting run to run his game plan. And we're seeing what happens to Snake when he really doesn't have those good buttons for him. Double spot dodge into F-Tilt, though. He really likes the F-Tilt to Snake. He rolled out. He's taken back stage control, and he's playing. And he read the roll from ledge. Oh. The PT was just unstoppable that game. Absolutely rolled. 